Hi everyone, Chef Jason Schaub here, author of the cookbook Overland Cookery. And we're here today to demonstrate some of our cookbook recipes. We're gonna start with a melty cast iron brie skillet. It's my take on a traditional cheese and charcuterie board, but we're gonna heat it up in a cast iron skillet. And I love this in camp because you might be on the trail for a long time and just that little bit of warmth once you get there really helps you relax and just nourish yourself and really sink in your camp chair and enjoy the outdoors. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with preheating our cast iron. These do take a minute or two to get to temperature, but the nice thing with cast iron is once it's up to temperature, it holds that heat. So when we're done cooking, you can pull this off, put it on the camp table, and you can enjoy a warm, hot cheese skillet for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And the trick here is to melt the brie. This will take about five to 10 minutes, not too long. And we simply place it down in the cast iron and you keep an eye on it until it starts to get soft, a little bubbly. Go straight down with that. And I think we'll do, we'll try some blue cheese for this one. I always like to mix it up. The nice thing with these skillets is you can utilize local ingredients, seasonal ingredients, whatever you can find during your travels. I call it local resource utilization. And you're eating with the seasons, finding the best, best ingredients that fit the environment that you're in. And it's a great way to cook while you're traveling. We're actually gonna put this in in a couple of minutes because the blue cheese does melt a little faster than the brie. And next, we are going to prepare our apple. I'm gonna slice it very thinly and place it down in the cast iron. And as the cheese starts to melt, the oil is gonna render out from the cheese and make it nice and caramelized. And we'll just place these in the skillet. And again, there's no particular order to this. It just kind of go with what feels natural, what looks pretty. Put some around the sides. The combination of apple, especially green apple with brie is just wonderful. It's crisp, bright, acidic, it's got good texture, and it complements really nicely with the rich, creamy brie. So the apple's down. Next, we're gonna put some walnuts down. Again, same method, just arrange it. And then move on to some grapes. We found some beautiful local grapes. I like to do a couple bunches, kind of tuck it up a little bit. Cheese is getting nice and soft. And we'll finish our last garnish, which is gonna to be toasted pistachios, which I love for texture, color. I like to sprinkle it right on top of the cheese. So little bits of pistachio get mixed in with the cheese as it melts. And the pistachios can kind of jump around on you sometimes. So what can help is to use the spine of the knife and you can actually crush them, which helps break them up into smaller pieces without them jumping all over the place. I like to go quite fine with this. Get a little bit of pistachio in every bite. Brie is starting to melt, so we're gonna add our blue cheese right into the pan. The blue cheese melts faster because there's no rind on it. The soft ripened cheese, like a brie style cheese, has a rind, so it takes a little bit longer for the heat to get through to it. But once it melts, it'll ooze out. It's really nice. So the cheese is getting nice and melty. We're gonna go ahead and add our cured meat. We're using prosciutto today. Speck also works really well too. It's a smoked prosciutto. Has a little bit more flavor, which I really like. This is what we found today. I like to bunch it up in little pieces like that, makes it easier to eat. Like that. Good, nice. And I always like to finish with a little garnish. We have fresh sage and rosemary today. Both will help infuse a nice, earthy, herbal flavor into the cheese. Mm. 
Encompass it with the herbs. It's looking really nice. Now the brie is just about melted, so I'm gonna gently push down just to help get the brie to come out. Oh, it's looking really good. So we'll finish with our pistachios. And a quick drizzle of honey. And that's it, you're ready. Turn this off and enjoy with uh, crusty bread, whole grain cracker, or whatever your, your cheese delivery vehicle of choice is. So this is a great example how just in under 10 minutes when you're in camp, you can have an incredible grazing skillet. It might look really sophisticated and complicated, but it's not. You just experienced it, it comes together really fast and utilizes local ingredients and now we're all digging in. Just take mm. this whole chunk of your shoes off. I would. Dip into the, the, the melty area. <laughs> What's the, um, the light green? Oh, the apple. That's the apple. 